Each and every woman is connected to the energy of Mother Nature. That's where your strength lies. So you got to tap into that. Stop trying to be masculine. Stop trying to act like a man. Stop trying to conduct yourself like a man. That's why successful black men always date outside of their race when they get their money because they don't want to deal with a woman that's trying to act like him. Make a decision. You're going to wear the pants or the panties. That boy. That boy. You are now watching Create a Steady Hustle with Liquid Cash. Get into the vibe. What up, Prince? Another day, another argument. I ain't in the mood for the beef, but ain't the screaming in the hollow brand. Stop listening to them bitches, you be following. Cause if I let them just believe my dick, they be swallowing. Why I'm on top of the very conversation? I'm always trying to trick you out of your position. Maybe they slick hate me. You gotta chill, baby. They see that BBL and Chris, new body kit. Don't change the on your feet just to match the bag. Yeah, we moving fast like the New York taxi cab. Switch and stay spinning like a tag. 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 Switch and stay spinning
And it's all about the details, man. It's all about your details. That's why I got the little chain right here. Got the chain on my neck. And, uh, you know, it's frozen water on the wrist. Y'all know how I do it, man. I make it rain for 40 days and 40 nights. I just want to drown a bitch, you dig? Make sure that she understand I ain't like your last man. I am the man that you need to be with, you dig? But you ain't made the right choice. But it's okay. We don't blame you. People make bad decisions every day, you dig? We just move forward and hope you uh, learn from your mistakes, you dig? But uh, as you can see, like I said, I got the, the turtleneck, the match, the jacket, the jacket, the match, the pants. Everything is Merlot. Everything is coordinating. You feel me? Even the handkerchief inside of my jacket is the same color as the suit. Niggas don't do it like me. They try, but they just can't succeed because I, I spend time. It's all about the detail, man. Your reward in life is an exact proportion as your effort. You don't have no reward when you go out there trying to pick up a chick because you ain't putting no effort in your drip. You got to put effort behind your fashion. That's why I make it hard for a female to refuse me in any way because I'm going to look stunning and look my best anywhere I go. I already told y'all, the look is the hook. Y'all see what Prince got on? He just chilling right now. We ain't even going to do no drip report on Prince because he been rude. He's not sitting when I tell him to sit. He just wants snacks, and that's all he wants. Man, he's watching my hand because he dressed, he trying to see if I might pull a snack out of my wrist, but I don't have no more. It's over there, and you ain't getting it until you start to behave yourself, you dig? I'm going to record this episode. I need you to relax and chill. Don't say a word unless you're spoken to, all right? Yeah, man. We're going to get into it. Anyway, like I said, man, it's going to be a classic episode. We're going to talk about everything under the sun. This episode is all about if you play your position, you will never lose your place. And that's a very important title because a lot of y'all out there not playing y'all position. This, re this episode is going to be about relationships because a lot of times people want to hear my opinion on relationships and they like what I got to say. And I'm going to try to give you some solution and try to resolve some of these issues that we may be having in the black community and in the dating community. You feel me? We have a lot of things that's going wrong and a lot of people talking about it from a negative standpoint and really not coming up with too much solution. And if there are people out there doing that, kudos to y'all that's coming up with solutions. But we need more and more people just, you know, spreading the word and letting people you know, kind of get an idea of how to resolve some of these issues that we may be having in a dating world. It's not easy. Once you bring somebody into your life, you already know you got to take on their troubles, their traumas, and everything they got going on in their life. It's not about you. It's about you and that person that you're involved with. So it's not a me thing. It's a we thing. You dig? So I want y'all to understand this relationship advice is going to be uh, 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 it's going to be uh, one for the books. So I advise y'all to really stop whatever y'all doing and really pay attention to what I got to say because it's going to be very vital in order for you to get the title and win that championship ring in the game of life that you trying to play. Prince, I got no more food for you, buddy. You're going to have to relax. I am recording, okay? I ain't got no more food for you. You going to chill? You see how you going to let people see you act up? You going to let the world see you act up like this? This how you going to be acting on camera? Yeah, you know I'm ignoring you, right? I'm ignoring you for the whole episode because I gave you some food. I thought you was going to be chill. I thought you was going to relax. Now you want to act up. Now I'm going to ignore you for the rest of the show, all right? Because I got to get into what I got to get into. These people waiting on me to say what I got to say, and I don't need you in the way, okay? All right. Y'all forgive me out there. It's been a minute since I dropped my latest episode. It's been about two weeks. You feel me? A little bit over two weeks, but y'all know this shit takes time. You dig? I don't like to rush and put out content just because. Anything I say, I want it to be meaningful. I want it to be impactful. I want it to be something that you can take with you and utilize it in your daily life. We are trying to give you that game that's gonna elevate you to the next level. A lot of these people out there talking because they got lips. That ain't the type of vibe that I be on, man. At the Create a Steady Hustle show, we're gonna show you how to create a steady hustle so you can be successful in any arena that you decide to go into, you dig? So as I said before, I'm feeling good because I'm looking good, you know what I mean? And I got my main man with me, Prince, man, so we gonna vibe out and we gonna do our best, you dig? 
like I was saying before, that song that y'all heard earlier when I was playing, uh, when I started, that's called Believe In Me. You know what I mean? It's one of those songs that I recorded, haven't put it out yet, exclusive. In case y'all niggas didn't know, I am a rapper. I'm just a rapper with a lot of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. I figure I share some of, some of my game with y'all, you dig? But I do music, that's what I do, that's what I love, that's my passion. And giving back and giving knowledge and helping humanity move forward with this game is a part of my passion as well, you dig? So we like to do it all over here, man. That song is called Believe In Me. And at the end of the day, man, all I want you to do, baby, is to believe in me. That's it. Then we're going to take it to the top. We're going to take it far. Long as you believe in me. Because I got the vision. And a lot of y'all don't. You got to have vision. If you want to lead a woman, man, you got to have vision. All of y'all want to be leaders, but they ain't got the vision. You got to know where you're going, baby. You feel me? So like I said, play your position. You'll never lose your place. And this episode is going to be impactful. But first, I want y'all to know is this. If you're watching this show for the first time, I need you to like, subscribe, and definitely hit the notification button so you can know every time that I drop or post something, you're notified. I need y'all to like and subscribe, you dig? Don't play no games. Y'all know every time I put out an episode, it's going to be legendary. So do me a favor. As soon as you start to watch this episode, you hit the like button, you subscribe, and you also leave a comment after you finish watching the episode, all right? It's important that I get some engagement so that YouTube could see that, you know, my page is active, people are interacting with it, and they can push it forward through the algorithm, you dig? Like I said, my Instagram is doing numbers. I'm trying to get the YouTube to do the same amount of numbers. It's going to take time, but I'm prepared for the grind, and I need y'all help. It's a give-and-take relationship. Don't just take the information and don't give back. How you give back? You donate to the Super Chat, you log on or subscribe to the Patreon, or you just like, leave a comment, and share the content. You could do either one of those. It don't matter. We still going to move forward. We still going to do what we got to do, because you know what I got to do? I got to keep on creating content, because why? Content is king, as well as cash, and you need to get you some. You dig? Most importantly, you dig? <laughs> I have nothing else for you. Sit. You don't sit, I'm going to throw your ass up there. All right? I got nothing else for you. Also, disclaimer, before I even start this episode, I want to let y'all know, off the rip, if you don't want to hear the word bitch, log off. If you don't want to hear the word nigga, log off. I'm going to say some things that may offend some people. It's okay. This is not directed towards you. Don't take it personal. I'm just going to speak from my opinion, and that's what it's going to be. You dig? So listen, like I said again, what I'm seeing in most relationships is a power trip, man. Everybody got their egos in the way. Nobody want to play their position. Women want a man to take control, but they don't want a man to control them. I'm going to say that again. Women want a man to take control, but they don't want to be controlled. They want a man to take the lead, but they don't want to take instructions. At the end of the day, man, a leader give orders. So in a relationship, eventually... A man is going to tell you some things that you need to do in order for things to move smooth. So, we interrupt this program for a quick, short commercial break. I know you're enjoying the content, but listen, I got to plug the book, The Power of Thought. This is something that you need in your life. You can think your way to a rich and prosperous life. It's your thoughts and your feelings that create abundance for you. Change your mind and you can change your life. I ain't trying to tell you what to think. I'm trying to teach you how to think. So get a copy of the book, The Power of Thought. If you don't got all day and you ain't trying to read a 300-page book, this is short and sweet. It's going to take you where you need to be. Also, for the people that don't read, I got the audio book as well. Everything is going to be in the description below. Support the book. Support the platform. Y'all know what it is. The Power of Thought. Yours truly. Look what can. Now back to the episode. Cheers. It's going to be times in a relationship where he seems demanding. But that's what, you know what I mean? That's what a man is. He gives information. He gives instructions. A leader definitely is going to tell you what to do and what not to do. You just got to follow his lead. You feel me? And like I said again, it's always about a power trip in these relationships, man. Everybody want to take control. The woman is pushing him and pulling him that way. The man is trying to pull it this way. Somebody got to take the lead and say, this is how it's going to go. If you want a leader, you got to be a good follower as well. Know what I mean? You can't say you want a man to take the lead and you're not a good follower. That's important. Michael Jordan needs a Scottie Pippen. Michael Jordan cannot be 
who he is unless he have a Scottie Pippen. See, that don't make you less valuable because you following a man. You was put on this earth to be a helpmate. You dig? So, in the arena of basketball, I'm going to use that analogy. A power forward has to master his skills. A center has to master being a center. The point guard has to master being a point guard. Each one of those individuals have to master playing their position. Now, the moment one of these players is not playing their position, it's more than likely they're not going to win a championship. They'll be lucky if they make it to the playoff. The center can't come in one day and say, you know what, I want to play point guard today. The point guard can't come in one day and say, you know what, I want to be the power forward today. Now, each and every one of those individuals got to play their position. That's how you win the game. That's how you win championship rings. You got to know how to play your position. And in a relationship, that's what you must do. Play your position. Find out what you do best and do that. In order for you to win the game, because it's all a game that we playing in the game of life, relationships, uh, situationships, companionships, it could all turn into a battleship if you don't play your position. The other night I was watching a documentary, right? And uh, they was talking about how Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, and all the big players of that time was on the same team and they was playing against a college team. And for some reason, Phil Jackson decided to say, you know what, y'all go ahead, play this college team. We want to see where y'all are at, right? Now, Magic Johnson, Michael Jordan, and the rest of these, you know, big major players on this team, these are all starting players in their particular team, right? So he decided to say, okay, you starting five. I want y'all to play this college team, but I'm not going to coach y'all. I just want to see what y'all do. And when they played that college team, they lost that game. And the reason they lost that game is because everybody wanted to be the captain of the team. Everybody wanted to play a certain position. Nobody wanted to play what they was good at and what they were skilled at. at. You dig? So Phil Jackson decided to pull them to the side and say, look at that. All of y'all are gifted in y'all own arenas and y'all skills and what y'all do, right? But y'all played against a college team and y'all lost. That's because y'all are not playing y'all position. Y'all playing to y'all weaknesses and not y'all strength. Everybody wanted to be the captain of the team. Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson are fighting over the position. You dig? They not letting each other do what they are comfortable doing. And they all lost that game against a college team. And these are NBA stars at the time. And then after that, Phil Jackson said, let me coach, let me give y'all the rundown, let me give y'all a game on how y'all need to play and what y'all should be doing. Let's work towards y'all strength and improve on y'all weaknesses. See, each and every one of us has to play a position and we have a position in our relationship. But the moment we start to override each other's position, that's when we have confusion in the relationship. That's why the title of this episode is called Play Your Position, You'll Never Lose Your Place. It's important for you to play your position in anything that you're doing. When you have a man, understand that, number one, he has a position to play. Let him play that. If he's the father of your child and he's the man, you don't override what he says. If he tell the kid that they can't do this and they can't do that, you can't let the kid finesse you to say yes. You can't go behind his back and then allow the kid to do whatever he please and whatever he want. You override in your position. You dig? Your position is to support the man in whatever decision he makes. So that's important, you dig? I want y'all to understand this. Let your ego rest to the side. Take your emotions out of it. Don't get rid of your emotions, but control your emotions. And understand that a man is put there to lead and lead in a positive way. You feel me? And a woman is there to help in a positive way. But in order for you to want a man to take control and lead, you got to be a good follower. You got to be able to follow his lead. So that's important, you dig? I want to definitely stress that. Play your position, you'll never lose your place. When you get in a relationship, understand what your strengths are. Understand what your weakness is. Let him know that. And hopefully he does the same. I mean, he should do the same, of course. Y'all coming together as a unit and y'all trying to tackle whatever y'all got to tackle so y'all can elevate to the next level. You feel me? So, um, I want y'all to understand, man, this is going to be very important information. So y'all might need to take out a pen and a pad, write some of this shit down. 
because some of these things y'all gonna forget. Don't leave it to memory because your memory will fail you every time. Put it in your notepad, put it in your book because some of this information, like I said again, is going to be important for you to remember and apply in your relationship. I was talking to a female the other day and she asked me a question. She said, one day she was walking with a man, right? And another man walked by and complimented her and she said, thanks. And then her man got in a fight with the, uh, the guy who complimented the girl and she was asking me, was she wrong? And I told her, you was definitely wrong. If you walk in with your man and another man compliments you and you say thanks, you out of pocket. Because why are you even speaking to another man while you with your man? You dig? I know you wanna, you know what I mean? You wanna boost your ego and you wanna feel good because somebody told you thanks. I know you're feeling yourself, you dig? You're looking good, you have on your freakum dress, but you with your man. And you gotta respect your man at all times, no matter where you at. Now, if you with your girlfriends, that might be another thing. You may say thank you with your girlfriends and it's all good. But she told me her man ended up fighting the guy and ended up breaking up with her. And she was asking me, is she wrong? I said, yeah, man, you wrong. You dead wrong. You feel me? Anytime you with your man, you want to give him the utmost respect. Why are you even discussing or talking to another man or acknowledging his compliment? You feel me? It's out of pocket. A lot of times women do things and um, they don't know they doing the wrong thing because their parents dropped the ball. You know what I mean? A lot of y'all parents didn't really educate y'all on how to maneuver and how to be with a man. I mean, we all know the saying that says, the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Right? Everybody heard that. But a lot of women lost their way. See, a lot of women nowadays don't even cook. Why? I blame it on a lot of you niggas. Because a lot of you niggas are cooking now. Some of the best chefs in the world are men. Why? Because niggas like to dominate any arena they get into. Some of the best designers are men. Because niggas always trying to get into their feminine energy and dominate that arena. Listen, I know how to cook. And I know how to take care of myself if I live alone, I'm by myself. And every man should know how to cook and take care of himself. If you're alone and you by yourself and you're not with a woman and you don't have a woman, you should, always, you should always know how to, you know what I mean, feed yourself. That's cool. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But the moment you get a girl, the moment, I'm talking about the same day you decide to make her your girlfriend, you should let her dominate in the kitchen. Let her shine in her feminine energy by cooking for you. And if y'all decide to come together one day and cook together, you don't try to dominate in the kitchen. You let her make sure you let her dominate in that arena. You follow her lead. You feel me? See, a lot of you niggas, when y'all get girlfriends and shit, y'all decide to say, you know, I'm going to cook for you tonight. And then y'all end up cooking all the time. And then the woman feel like she don't, she don't even need to cook. Like I said before, the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. So women, you gotta learn how to cook for your man. If you don't know how to cook, get you a cookbook. You're on YouTube every day, you're on Instagram every day. Watch the videos that's gonna educate you on how to cook. Your grandmother gave y'all a game from the beginning, but y'all lost y'all way. They have been telling y'all this, man. See, I'm not gonna put all the blame on the men, even though we are at fault for a lot of reasons why women are the way they are. We definitely are at fault because it starts with the man. But a lot of you women are not doing the personal development work that y'all need to do in order to improve on yourself. And that's what's stopping y'all from really finding a way to your man's heart. You got to learn how to cook, man. You got to put yourself in that kitchen and definitely feed your man what he needs. Because once, he's, once you cook that food with love, that love is going to translate and transfer into his body. And he's going to feel loved and appreciated. That's why they said a way to a man's heart is through his stomach because the, the energy that you transfer inside of the food when you cook something with love. Give you an example. If a woman is upset with you and she decides to cook for you that night, the food is not going to be good <laughs> as it normally is because of the energy that's transferred into the food. That's why anytime you go into a restaurant and you see the chef is arguing with the waiters, you don't want to eat there because the food is not going to be good because the chef is not feeling his best. Same thing when you have a woman in your household, y'all getting an argument, y'all fighting, y'all fussing, and then she goes in the kitchen and cook for you. The food is not going to taste his best, man, because the energy gets transferred into the food. 
See, that's why you, when you cook, you cook with love, and that love transfers into that man, and that man feels appreciated, then that transfers into him loving you and caring for you even more. Your grandmother been giving you the game from God knows when. And if you didn't have a grandmother in your life and she didn't give you that game, this is a quote that 99% of us heard before at some time in our life. Now, you didn't understand what it really meant. For the ones who didn't, I hope I clarified it in a way you can really grasp what I was trying to say. You dig? Now, so like I was saying again, man, learn how to cook. Dominate in that arena because that's where you shine. You feel me? And a man shines when he got to do handiwork around the house. When he got to take out the trash. When he got to hang up a TV on the wall. That's where he dominates and that's where he shines. If you're a man and your lady call you up to say, hey man, I need you to hang this TV up on the wall. You don't go hire a Mexican and let him do it. Nah, because you now nah, you taking the, the position out of your hands. You're taking the masculine energy and transferring it to somebody and giving somebody else the duty to do that. When you can shine by putting that TV up and she, can, she knows she could depend on you if she needs a handyman around the house and something that needs to be fixed. She don't got to call somebody else. She don't got to hire a Mexican to come over and fix the light bulb. She don't got to hire a Mexican to come over and put the TV up because she knows she got a man that's going to take care of that job. That's the way you shine. That's the position you play in life. You know what I mean? Taking that masculine energy and doing things around the house that she ain't supposed to be doing. Her position is to clean, cook, you know what I mean? Make you feel good. Make sure the energy in the house is right. You dig? Because it's important. A woman energy is so strong that if she's not feeling good, she can shift the whole energy in the house. I'm going to say that one more again because a lot of y'all ain't listening, man. A woman energy is so strong, if she's not feeling good and she's not having a good day, that whole house is not going to have a good day. They say a man buys the house, but a woman makes it a home. And I believe that to be so, man. Because a woman knows how to project a certain type of energy to make that house feel like a home. That's why it's important to pick your helpmate wisely. Don't just mess with any woman because she got a big butt and a cute smile. Pick your helpmate wisely, man. You feel me? That's why I don't live with no woman, by the way. I don't live with any woman. I don't want to live with no woman because at the end of the day, man, when a woman is not feeling good, man, she's going to change the whole energy in the house, man. And I don't need her to fuck up my vibration, you dig? Because once my vibration and my energy is set in my house, I want it to remain the same, you dig? So I don't live with a woman just because of that reason. I don't need her to fuck up my frequency, you dig? So I need y'all to understand this, man. A man could buy a house, but it takes a woman to make it a home. And you don't know you're a man until you got a woman, because only a woman is going to make you feel like a man. You feel me? Now, some of you niggas out there play on the other side of the fence. We not talking about you niggas, man. I'm speaking for heterosexual men. You dig? So, like I said again, we're going to give you a lot of game in this episode. I want y'all to soak it up. We interrupt this program for a quick, short commercial break. I know you're enjoying the content, but listen, I gotta plug the book, The Power of Thought. This is something that you need in your life. You can think your way to a rich and prosperous life. It's your thoughts and your feelings that create abundance for you. Change your mind and you can change your life. I ain't trying to tell you what to think, I'm trying to teach you how to think. So get a copy of the book, The Power of Thought. If you don't got all day and you ain't trying to read a 300 page book, this is short and sweet. This is gonna take you where you need to be. Also, for the people that don't read, I got the audio book as well. Everything is gonna be in the description below. Support the book, support the platform. Y'all know what it is, the power of thought. Yours truly, Liquid Cash. Now back to the episode, cheers. Y'all ladies gotta understand, we in a concrete jungle, man. You feel me? This is the concrete jungle. And in the jungle, we got lions, tigers, bears, silverback gorillas, and all type of different animals, you feel me? We got sheep, we got goats, we got cows, we got all type of motherfuckers out there, you dig? And for instance, the sheep might be the good woman, right? That might be the good girl, you feel me? But good girls like bad guys. The bad guy might be the lion, the tigers, the jaguars, the silverback gorillas, you feel me? And a lot of times y'all sheep try to tame the lion. You can't tame a lion. 
See, that's the mistake y'all be making when y'all picking y'all man. Y'all be trying to tame niggas. You cannot tame a lion, man. You want an alpha man, you want a high value man, but you want to marginalize him to your small way of thinking. Now, understanding that you can't tame a lion, the best thing you need to do, man, is to go get a sheep. Someone you could dominate. But when you're dealing with the king of the jungle, the man, an alpha man, you can't tame him. And that's the mistake y'all be trying to make. An alpha man is going to control any environment he's in. That's just what it's going to be. That's just what it is. And if you can't handle that, stay far and clear from an alpha man. But the problem is, good woman like a man with a little bit of danger. They like a man, you know what I mean, with a little bit of that, you know what I mean, a certain charisma, a certain bravado about him, a certain dominance about him. You know what I mean? As soon as he walk in the room, everybody looking at him and staring at him. They like that type of guys. And not understanding that type of guy is going to have a lot of motion. He going to have a lot going on. You feel me? And you trying to tame him. And that's not going to work. Like I said, the best bet is to go find you a sheep. Because a lion is going to do what he wants to do, when he wants to do it, and how he wants to do it. And he's not going to ask for your advice. He's going to hopefully do it respectfully. You know what I mean? But other than that, he not going to ask for your advice. So... You want a man to suppress his appetite when he got all these beautiful women out there, man. There's millions of beautiful women out there. Women are liking women. You see how gorgeous these women is? And you expect a man not to go out there and partake in some of these, you know what I mean? Beautiful women that's walking around 82% naked. These females out here are 82% naked, man. You ain't even gotta go too far. You look on the gram, you gonna see a bunch of bad bitches. On the gram, 82% naked. You go outside in the summertime, all these women out here walking around with, you know what I mean? Short shorts and they got their ass out and they looking good. They got their titties done. They got their body done. They looking right. You feel me? And you expect a man not to partake in some of these females. You want us to suppress our, you know what I mean? Emotions and suppress our appetite. But you trying to marginalize the man. You got to understand, man. You can't tame a great white shark. Some of you women are dating killer whales and great white sharks. And they out here moving and they on the hunt. Certain sharks cannot be in aquariums because you're going to marginalize their growth. And a lot of y'all women be trying to marginalize niggas' growth. Understand what you got. You feel me? If you want a sheep, go get a sheep. But when you dating and you trying to get you a great white shark, a silverback gorilla, a lion, you cannot marginalize him. He's going to have to be who he is and he's going to have to move on his own accord. And if you don't want that, like I said again, go get you a billy goat. It's just that simple, man. You feel me? Like I said, in a concrete jungle, man, a man is going to do what he want to do, how he want to do it, when he want to do it. You just got to accept what it is. You feel me? And if you can't, move along. And a lot of times y'all accept it for a little while, but eventually y'all try to change the contract and try to switch up things. Understand this, man. When you sign that contract and decide to be with that man, understand everything that he comes with. Don't try to change the contract later. You know what it was. That's why niggas be having side bitches all the time because the side bitches, they understand what it is. They're going to play their position. They're going to do what they got to do. I remember when I was living in Far Rockaway, Queens, man, I used to live with a chick at this time too. And uh, I was young, dumb. I didn't know no better. But this is when I learned a lot of my lessons living with a female. Now, it was a very stressful time. Did I cause that stress? Yes, because I did a lot of shit that I wasn't supposed to do. You feel me? But that doesn't um, negate from the fact that she wasn't able to control her emotions, you dig? She forgave me. She allowed me to still, you know what I mean, be in a relationship with her. She should accept everything I came with and understand how I was as a man, you feel me? But anyway, I was dating a chick one time. We lived together. And I also had a side chick on the other side, you feel me? She lived in White Plains, New York, you dig? And while we was dating, I had her on the side and she would actually drop me off to my chick house. Every time we chill, right? And she never asked no questions. She never asked why I can't come upstairs. She never asked um, why I never spend a night over our house. She just knew what it was and she played her position, you dig? And we had a wonderful relationship. I actually liked her more than I liked the woman that I was with. You feel me? But I already signed that contract. I was already locked in. So I had to do what I had to do and deal with what I had to deal with, you dig? And like I said again, that's why sometimes men keep side chicks for years because they know how to play their position. 
And a lot of times the main chick don't know how to play the position. It is what it is. And that relationship lasted for, you know what I mean, a little while until I couldn't deal with it no more. She was too stressful because she, she wanted me all to herself. You feel me? And I, I had to let her know, man, you cannot tame a lion. I'm a lion. I'm, a, I'm off the chain. I'm off the hinge. You feel me? Especially at that age. I think around that time, I was about 20, 21. Man, at that age, man, I was a wild beast. I didn't give a fuck. I did what I wanted to do when I wanted to do it, and I really didn't give a fuck, man. I didn't care. It is what it was. And uh, that's how I was living my life, moving in that direction. It wasn't right or wrong, but it is what it is. Some might say it's wrong, but it, I learned a lot of things along the way. And that's what some of y'all women got to understand, man. When you got a lion, you got to know that. When you're dealing with an alpha man, you got to understand everything he comes with. I like to stress this because y'all always trying to change men. You cannot change a man. Only him can change himself. That's it. You can't change a man. He's going to be who he is until he decides to change himself. That's just how it's going to go. You might not like it, but it is what it is. And let me say this here, man. We're going to stop with this narrative acting like only men cheat. Women cheat as well. And sometimes they cheat more than men. There's a lot of people running around with this narrative. They're always talking about men cheating. But there's a lot of women out there that cheat on a daily basis. You feel me? Women are savages just like men. They got urges just like men. They are freakier than men. It is what it is. Everything I learn in the bedroom, I learn from a woman. You dig? So all that freaky shit that, uh, that I might be trying with my chick, that's because I learned it from someone before her. Or I learned it from her. You feel me? So let's kill this narrative of people acting like women don't cheat. Man, women do the same thing we do. They just do it better. Women always got a nigga that she's sleeping with, one that's helping her financially, one that she can talk to and she could, you know what I mean, let out all of her emotions. He's going to listen to her. She treats him like he's one of the girls. Women always keep certain guys for certain things. So let's not walk around here and act like, you know what I mean, only men are doing these activities, man. Women are doing the same goddamn thing, man. Women are cheating just as much as men, and they are freaky than a motherfucker. Remember one time I was in Miami, right? And I was out there moving and grooving, doing my motherfucking thing. I ran into this Spanish chick, and I was chopping it up with her. She was fine as fuck. She invited me over to her crib. We chopping it up. We just talking. I asked her, so listen, what is one of the most freakish things you ever done? I'm just trying to feel her energy, seeing what, what she's about, you dig? Because I'm also thinking, I'm like, you know what I mean? I might try to hit that, you dig? That's what I'm thinking in my mind. Because, you know, I'm in Miami. I'm having a good time. I'm by myself. At this time, I don't think I was dating anybody. And at that age, I don't give a fuck. If I was dating anybody, I was still going to do what I was going to do any motherfucking way, you dig? That wasn't going to stop nothing. But anyway, so I asked her, what's the freakiest thing you ever done? And she told me the freakiest thing she ever did was have a threesome. I said, oh, word, that's dope. You had a threesome with a girl guy and uh, uh, another girl? She said, nah, I had a threesome with two guys. So I'm like, what? You had a threesome with two guys? She said, yeah. And she said, two gay guys. Now that blew my mind. Whatever I was thinking about hitting that, I immediately got that thought out of my mind right away. Because I'm like, if you could fuck two gay niggas, you are definitely psychotic. You a savage. You beyond savage. You in some bestiality type of shit, you dig? So I automatically wiped that idea out of my mind ASAP. But that's when I realized women are savages. If you could sleep with two gay men, so you, mind, you mean to tell me you watched two niggas fuck and you decided in your mind to have sex with them as well? You were off the hinge you are you just you on a whole nother level with this freaky shit you dig but there's a lot of women out there like that that are very experimental they're going to do all kind of shit and you can't stop them it is what it is they're very curious and they're going to be into all kind of shit you dig so let's kill that narrative acting like women ain't savages and they not out here you know what i mean counting and catching bodies bodies on top of bodies it is what it is man 
And I don't knock them. I'm not judging. I just don't fuck with those type of females. You dig? You catching bodies? I'm not interested. I'm the type of guy, if I'm dating a female and we not even together. If you dating another nigga, bitch, I'm done with you. I ain't even want to date you no more. If you talking to multiple niggas, you trying to fill each individual out, um, that's kind of, you know, that's going to kill my drive. That's going to kill my motivation to even fuck with you. You dig? That's just how I am. I'm just like one of those type of guys, man. If you want to, if you, if, I, if I'm an option, I want you to choose the other option. That's just what it is. If you date me, just date me. Let's feel each other vibe out and let's see how this go. You know what I mean? That's just how I am. But like I was saying again, man, women are more freaky than men. Let's not negate from that fact. Let's stay on course and understand that if you don't know where your woman is at at all time, that might not be your woman, man. You feel me? So as a man, you should always know what your woman doing, what she not doing. You should know where she's at and where she's where she's going throughout the day because it's important. Women are very slick. They re they're very sly about how they move and how they do things. So you always want to be on point, you dig? Now, some women might not like that because they want to be like, well, shit, if you could have my location, I should have yours as well. That if you can, I can too attitude. And I'm going to tell y'all ladies right now, kill that shit, you dig? You can't do what I do. We are not the same. All men are not created equal. And for damn sure, women and men are not created equal. There's nothing equal about us. You feel me? That's why you can have the baby and I can't. God made it that way. We was not supposed to be equal, you dig? So that if you could do it, I can do it too. Mentality is very immature. Get rid of that shit, you dig? That stops a lot of y'all in y'all relationship trying to do what the man does. Nah, stay in your feminine energy. That's your superpower. Don't try to be me. Don't try to tap into my masculine energy. That's when you lowering your vibration. Stay within your realm of things. That's your superpower. Be that feminine energy. You can't do what I do. And that's the mistake y'all be making. Y'all follow men and y'all follow them off the cliff. You feel me? Men are, 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 are the way they are because they're designed that way, right? And y'all are the way y'all are because y'all are designed that way. But the problem is women, they try to do what men do. And that's why y'all are out here moving in a certain type of way. Y'all fucking this one and that one. Having babies with certain niggas. Don't know the baby father. This one is in jail. That one's coming out of jail. Now you a single mom and you repeating the cycle. You dig? Y'all doing the same thing y'all mothers did, y'all grandmothers did, and y'all repeating the cycle, man. Y'all not learning from their mistakes. You don't got to follow the mistakes of your parents. Choose your man wisely. Choose your partners wisely. You feel me? Picking your partners like picking a job. You dig? You don't want to be at a job that you're not happy with because you're going to be there most of your damn day. So you want to choose a job that makes you feel good, that you feel happy about going to work each and every day. It's the same thing. You want to choose a man that you love being around, and every time you see them, they make you smile. You feel me? So it's important that you choose a man wisely. A lot of y'all be choosing niggas <laughs> that really ain't got no motion. And y'all sleeping with these niggas and hoping that these niggas change. But at the end of the day, like I said before, you can't change a man. It is what it is. Accept him as, as he is. You dig? Accept him for what he is. And vice versa. A man got to accept a woman for who she is and what she is. It is what it is. If you got yourself a hoe, nigga, it is what it is. If your bitch is a slut, it is what it is. Accept her. You know what I mean? And understand that she might do what she does, but you chose the woman, man. You know what I mean? It's a lot of <laughs> different... You know what I mean? Variations of women out there, man. A lot of niggas like hoes, man. It is what it is. You dig? I put the blame on a lot of you niggas, man. A lot of women are acting a certain way because a lot of you niggas, y'all put a lot of value on sex. You feel me? The moment y'all meet a woman, y'all want to leave with y'all dick. So that makes women believe that their only value isn't having sex with a man, right? Their value is between their legs. And they use that to get what they want from a man. And ain't nothing wrong with that, but there's a lot wrong with that because your value should be in your mind. Your value should be in your morals, your integrity, right? So a lot of times women will meet a guy and if a guy is not attracted to her or doesn't try to have sex with her when they first meet, she feels like the guy is either gay or he's not interested in her because her only value is sex. I've been in a lot of situations where I met a woman and you know we went out on a date 
I don't try to fuck the first night and she feel like I'm not interested in her. It's not that I'm not interested in you. It's really just that I'm not trying to leave with my dick. I'm not trying to hit on the first night. I'm not going to make it easy for you to be a part of my body count, man. I'm not going to share myself with you sexually until I get to know who you are and understand your vibration. Because a lot of times you could sleep with women and they could transfer negative energy onto you. Now you having a bad week, having a bad month, having a bad year, and you don't understand why. So a lot of y'all niggas be sharing y'all energy with a lot of women that may not even deserve you. You feel me? So, but I understand why women put value on sex. Because men put value on sex. We create the rules. You know what I mean? Whatever we say goes. And a lot of times, that's why women are doing the things they're doing and behaving the way they're behaving. We got to take full responsibility because we set the foundation. Men are the ones that create the rules in this world of ours that we live in today. Right? All my life I heard the expressions, you gotta fake it to make it. But I never really subscribed to that concept because I believe you gotta think it to make it. See, whatever the mind of man can conceive and bring itself to believe, he can achieve. Change your mind and you can change your life. Take a whiff, I'm the sh- uh, I'm the black rich, you rich. Uh, Do it all on my own. Uh, I ain't never need a b- uh, Cause it's all in the wrist. Uh, she in love with the sniff. Uh, I'm in love with the bricks. Uh, like I'm short, like I'm thick. What? Make a bust like the rhyme. What? Only hit it one time. Someone hit me on the DM and they asked me, why is it when successful black men get money, they always date outside of their race? Now, I'm going to try to attempt to answer this, and this is just my opinion. I believe most black African Americans that are successful date outside of their race because women in different ethnicities, they listen. That's the number one reason, I believe, why they date outside of their race. And the reason they always gravitate towards white women is because white women follow the lead of their men. They would follow with no problem. You understand? It's a part of their genes. They always been following their men for centuries, man. They'll stay at home, take care of the kids, do whatever the white man asked them to do. It was just that simple, man. They had structure in their household. They all played their position, and that was what it was. Even back since slavery days, man. The white man was the master, the slave did whatever they was told to do, and the white woman would support all that bullshit that the white man was doing. That's how that shit went, man. You feel me? So it's passed down through generation. So when a successful black man gets some money, he want a woman that's gonna listen and take instructions and follow his lead, man. A lot of times when it come to black women, they don't like to take instructions. They don't like to follow the lead of nobody. The only lead they wanna follow is themselves. And that's why a lot of them walk around lost. Running around like a chicken with their head cut off. But I understand why they act that way. It's passed down through generations, man. They great-great-grandmothers been oppressed by the slave master. You feel me? They great-great-grandfather been oppressed. It's, just in a, it's in their genes. It's in their DNA. They don't like to be told what to do. That's why it's always that combative type of relationship between a black man and a black woman. The man wants control. The woman don't want to be controlled because she's been oppressed all her life. It's passed down to the generation and the bloodline. We don't want to feel oppressed in our relationship. That's just what it is, right? So it's always that type of relationship where you can't tell me what to do and you're not listening, you're not paying attention. Well, you ain't my daddy. You can't make me do anything I don't want to do. It's always that type of fight, always that type of argument, right? So we don't want a woman that's always going to be fighting with us over simple-minded shit. You feel me? So that's why a lot of black men date outside of their race. Asian women, white women are very subtle, very submissive, very easy to deal with. Right? They haven't came up the way black women have came up. And a lot of times when you're dealing with black women, you know, you're gonna deal with some kickback. They not just gonna do whatever the fuck you say just because you making the bread and butter. Now, I'm not saying that's right or wrong, but it is what it is. So a lot of times they don't wanna feel oppressed in their relationship. And you know, when a man get power and when he feels like he's on top of his game, he's on top of the world and he got some money, you can't tell him nothing. His ego's at, to the roof. So that caused a lot of men to start to dominate in their relationship. They asking a woman to do things from an arrogant standpoint, right? They saying it in a certain type of way. And a black woman don't want to go for that type of shit. 
the white woman might deal with that type of shit because she just happy to have a black man. You know what I mean? She feel like she got her a token nigga. So she's going to follow his lead and do whatever he says. Because they just happy to have a black man by their side. It is what it is. Black women, they've been dealing with all bullshit for years. So when we get some money and we start to act a certain type of way and be demanding, they not going to put up with that bullshit. Instead of him trying to figure out and deal with the black woman and communicate with her on a certain level, he say forget that and get him a white woman and keep it moving. You know what I mean? So I'm not saying he's right or wrong. It is what it is. They grown ass adults. They can do what they please. You feel me? At the end of the day, we all got a decision to make. We can date a black woman or a white woman or oriental woman, whatever we decide to do. But that's one of the reasons I believe in my mind a lot of black men date white women is because they are submissive. They come from a family structure where they did what the man say. They've been doing that since 1900 long, from back in the days when the slave master had slaves. They just allowed the man to do whatever the fuck they wanted to do on that plantation. The white woman didn't have a say. Know what I mean? They didn't even have the right to vote back in their days. You dig? They couldn't even vote. They got their right to vote in 1921, I believe. You feel me? Somebody fact check that for me and let me know if I'm correct. But that's when the white women got their liberty to vote. So y'all gotta understand, they came up under a power structure where they had to play their position. They couldn't do nothing else. They couldn't be nothing else but be the caretaker of the household. And like I said again, black women come from the lineage and the bloodline of slaves. And they've been and they've been oppressed. And that's passed down in their DNA. So when it comes to men, they don't want to be told what to do every day and every second. You feel me? Because it's in their genes just to be, you know what I mean? They want to feel free. And they don't have a, you know what I mean? It is what it is. That's just how that shit go, man. And a man been oppressed all his life, so when he's in a relationship, he wants to dominate, he wants to be in control. You know what I mean? Because shit, we just got our, you know what I mean, freedom. We got the powers in our hands now. When we come home, we want to control and dominate that arena. And you know, you gotta play your position. It is what it is. That's how, you know, that's what's going on in a relationship right now, you feel me? But a woman gotta understand this, man. You gotta tap into your feminine energy, because that's your superpower. Don't try to be masculine. Don't try to tap into his energy. Nah, your superpower is being the woman that you are. Tap into your feminine energy. Tap into your femininity, right? Because you're going to be dominant in that arena. See, what I want y'all ladies to know is this, man. Your feminine energy is your superpower. Anytime you try to tap into that masculine energy, you lower in your vibration. Why would you want to be like a man when you're stronger than a man emotionally? See, that emotion that you carry, that's your superpower. You just got to learn how to control it. You dig? Don't let it control you. And when you learn and master how to control your emotions, you're going to use that emotion to manifest greatness. That's why most successful men, they always get a woman before they find their purpose in life. I'm gonna say that again in case y'all not really grasping what I'm trying to convey. Some of the richest men in the world know this secret, the law of the mastermind, right? Andrew Carnegie, JP Morgan, and some of the richest men in the world, they find a wife before they find their purpose. You understand? And the reason why they find a wife, because when you have a wife or a woman in your life, that creates a mastermind. Matthew 18 and 20 says, when two or more are present in my name, then I shall appear. That's God, right? So when a man gets a woman or a wife or whatever you want to call it, right? They got somebody else in their life. That creates a mastermind and helps that man to be able to tap into his geniusness and be able to manifest and create magical things in his life. Well, that's how most of these wealthy men was able to dominate their arenas and their fields of business because they understood the concept of creating a mastermind 
with man and woman coming together as a unit. See, we need that feminine energy in order for us to move forward, to tap into that energy, to help us to manifest the things that we trying to desire. That's why you got to find a man with purpose, a man that knows what he's trying to do and knows where he's trying to go. So when he finds that woman, he gives her the game plan on what he's trying to do and she helps him on his journey to achieve greatness. So it's important for y'all to understand this, man. You don't need to fight with the woman and try to cause conflict. We're stronger together, divided we fall. We gotta come together as a unit because once we create that mastermind, man, we are unstoppable. That's how we tap into our geniusness. That's how they are able to beat us and defeat us in this game of life because they understand universal laws that we're not even aware of, right? So that's what y'all gotta understand, man. We gotta come together as a unit and create this mastermind so we could achieve greatness, right? We can't be keep on fighting with each other and causing conflict. You trying to control the situation. You don't wanna let me be who I wanna be. We need to just try to experience each other. In a perfect world, that's how it should be. You don't control me, I don't control you. We just experience each other. Let us be who we gonna be and let us move in a direction where we are trying to accomplish something. Come to one common goal and move in that direction. Create a mastermind with your woman. But I want y'all to understand this, man. The man and the woman belong together. Like I said again, you don't know your man until you get a woman. Because only a woman can make you feel like a man. But what I want y'all to understand is this, man. You got to create a mastermind with the woman that you're involved with. You dig? That's why they are able to beat us in all these business arenas. Because they created mastermind. Jeff Bozo... He got a wife before he figured out how to, you know what I mean, create Amazon and, and turn that into a multi-billion dollar company. He don't mind giving her $150 million after the divorce because she helped in the process of him creating these millions, you dig? And she don't have to be physically there with him doing the work. Just her being in her presence and being in her feminine energy helps him to achieve greatness. This is how you create a mastermind. Like I said before, when two or more are present and they come together in my name, then I shall appear. When two horses are pulling a carriage, they're not pulling twice the amount of weight. They can pull four times the amount of weight. I'm going to say that again in case y'all not listening, right? When one horse is pulling a carriage, it only can pull a certain amount of weight. But when two horses come together, they can pull four times the amount of weight. That's why it's important to come together as a unit. We have to stop all of this division type of shit, man. Every woman I've met in my life, they helped in my growth and development, you dig? The reason why I'm this fly, because a woman picked out a shirt for me and told me this looked good on you. A woman picked out a pair of pants and told me these, these will look nice on you, right? They helped shape my swag they help shape my charisma you feel me we get our game from a woman i'm gonna say that again we get our game from a woman man a woman is going to tell you and show you how to deal with her but you just got to pay attention you feel me a lot of niggas don't pay attention because we listen to respond and we don't listen to really absorb the information right and respond correctly but like i said again man some of y'all niggas be like it's too late Women are not doing the things that I'm talking about. Nah, they are. You just ain't that nigga, man. You just ain't who you think you is. Because every woman that I meet, man, they help me on my journey trying to do whatever I'm trying to do. Whatever I'm trying to get towards, they're going to help. That's just what it is. I'm not going to have a woman around me if she's not being a helpmate to me and doing something that is going to help us progress. It is what it is. Cause I'm a nigga that's moving with a purpose, so I'm always giving them something to do, man. You gotta give your lady something to do. That's just what it is. And if she's not following your lead, like I said again, you ain't a nigga that you think you are. See, she know you a bozo, so she not gonna follow a bozo. She just don't wanna be alone, so she deals with you. A lot of women out there right now are settling for the niggas that they with. They don't know how to choose the right man. So they choose the wrong man and they already caught up. They already emotionally bonded to that person so they deal with all the drama and all the bullshit that he comes with but it's important that i let y'all understand creating a mastermind with your lady is the goal that's how you tap into your geniusness that's how you tap into your true power that's one of the jewels that they don't want you to understand they don't want you to know that's why they create a separation that's why they don't want a man to be in the household with the woman because if they do that, they're gonna have a family structure. They don't want us to have a family structure. They want us to be divided because they don't want us to tap into the mastermind. They understand the game, we just don't understand the game and we play right into their hands. Always bickering and fighting when we just need to come together and make this shit work. 
There's no perfect people. You just gotta find somebody that you wanna go through the storm with. I was watching a Bob Molly movie, right? Now, Bob Molly was a great man. He did a lot of magnificent things. He's one of the biggest reggae artists that ever lived. Even him, at his height, was going through bullshit with his wife. She was with him on the road. She helped him wrote his music. She was there as the foundation for him to be who he is today. Bob Molly could have not been who he was without Rita Molly. You dig? But she was there to support him throughout all of the bullshit that he was putting her through. He was having babies with other women. She was taking care of those babies. You know what I mean? She didn't fuss. She didn't complain. But eventually, you know what I mean? She's a woman. She's going to feel neglected. She's going to feel some type of way. Did she cheat on him? Yeah, she cheated on Bob Molly. Now, Bob Molly, like I said again, was rich, wealthy, one of the biggest reggae artists in the world. But he was dealing with the petty bullshit that we deal with in our relationship today. Nobody is exempt. Nobody is exempt. We all are going through shit in our relationship, but you got to find somebody that's worth going through the storm with. We all going to go through the storm. There's no perfect people. Let's stop that bullshit trying to find a perfect man or a perfect woman. Ain't nobody perfect out there, man. Just find someone you love the most that you're willing to go through all the bullshit with. It is what it is. Accept him for who he is. Accept her for who she is. You know what I mean? Because sometimes the grass is not green on the other side. A lot of times it's not. The niggas that you think are better than the man that you with are just as worse. A lot of women that left me ran into other niggas and they come calling me years later talking about how the nigga was abusive. You know what I mean? How the nigga was doing this and that. She was going through all kind of drama. You feel me? I might have been a nigga that was just cheating on her or whatever, doing certain things behind her back that she didn't like, but this nigga cheating and putting his hands and feet on her. You feel me? So a lot of times you think the grass is green on the other side and you realize it really ain't, man. Stick by the side of the nigga that you truly love and help him to be a better version of himself. That's if he wants to be a better version of himself as well. You gotta pick these men wisely. Choose wisely. You feel me? Because a lot of niggas are just bums and they don't, got, they don't got no motion. They don't have no drive. They don't want to do nothing. They don't want to be nothing. Those type of niggas you let be fly by nights, man. See, you got to understand this, man. Jeremiah 17 and 9, it says, The heart is deceitful above all things. So when I meet a woman, I'm not looking for love, man. I'm looking for respect and honesty. I'm looking for a woman that's going to ride with me until the wheels fall off. See, I got enough love for myself for the both of us, man. So when I'm dealing with a woman, I'm not looking for love. See, a lot of you niggas are looking for love. A lot of y'all out there looking for love, man. That's cool. Ain't nothing wrong with love. But I understand love can come into your life and leave like a thief in the night the next morning. The feeling comes and goes. You might fall in love with a person today, but tomorrow you can fall out of love with them. It's okay. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But you got to stick by that side until that love returns. You know what I mean? Because the love always come back. That's the way of a relationship. There's no perfect relationship. Those relationships that you see on the gram that may look perfect, that's how it looks from the outside. But I guarantee... If you was on the inside, you would realize, man, they got a toxic relationship, but they make that shit look good. They make it look good for the public. But we all are going through shit, man. That's why these entertainers, right? Like Kanye West, Jay-Z. That's why they go find a wife as soon as they reach a certain level in their career and they want to surpass that threshold. They go find a wife because they want to tap into their geniusness. They want to utilize the energy of that woman to tap into the next level of the game. See, they understand these laws, man. It's a universal law that some of y'all are not even privy to. It's important to find a woman that's going to stick by your side and that's going to ride with you until the wheels fall off. Because once you create that mastermind, you are unstoppable. You are able to tap into your geniusness, man. Her superpower is her energy, her emotions. You just got to teach her how to use that superpower to your benefit and to her benefit. You feel me? 
I don't want my woman to stop being emotional. I want her to learn how to control that emotion, man. Maneuver that energy in a direction that is going to be prosperous for us. It's going to be beneficial for us. You feel me? So that's what I want y'all to get from this podcast right here in this episode, man. Play your position. You'll never lose your place. You got to understand that that feminine energy that you have, man, is your superpower. Don't try to be masculine. Don't try to act like the man. Don't try to do what I can do because no two people are created equal. I'm born with certain gifts that you are not born with. You are born with certain gifts that I may never have. And that's okay. Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. It's the yin and the yang. You dig? But when we come together, man, we are unstoppable. That's what we need to get back to. A lot of these podcasters are talking about, you know what I mean, the woman being this and the man being that. Yeah, everybody got their opinion. But at the end of the day, man, we got to come to a solution. You feel me? We have to come to a solution, man. Like I said, if the women that you have are not helping you to achieve greatness, man, you are not the nigga that you think you is or you don't have to gain to be able to Maneuver that situation to your benefit. See, a lot of you niggas ain't got no game, man. A lot of you niggas don't have no game. That's why y'all need to have a mentor. Get you a mentor with some game that can put you on some information that can teach you how to talk to your woman. How to communicate so she can be able to move in the way that you need her to move. You're not communicating the right way. That's why she's not taking instructions from you. That's why she's not taking no advice from you. You telling her not to do something, but you're doing it. And you're doing it disrespectfully. You dig? You're not leading by example. A woman need you to lead by example. That's how she follows you. You being everything that you say you are. You following through on your agreements. Remember this quote, man. A rose given on time is better than a thousand dollar gift delivered late. Hope that don't go over your head. I'm going to say that one more time. A rose delivered on time is better than a thousand dollar gift delivered late. I'm going to let y'all meditate on that, you dig? So that's what I want y'all to get, man, from this, from this particular episode. Play your position, you'll never lose your place, man. A lot of niggas out there not playing their position. You know what I mean? Tap into that masculine energy. A lot of you niggas are feminine. Y'all tapping into y'all feminine energy. So y'all leaving the woman to be the man and the woman. And that causes confusion. We put a lot of blame on the women, but at the end of the day, man, it's all about us. We set the standard. We as men are creating this environment. We are the king on the chessboard. But we got to lead by example. Some of us got to stand up and move in the right direction. You dig? Like I said again, man, I'm going to use this analogy. Now, check this out. See, I understood a long time ago, man. A woman is way more powerful than a man. I know that. I understand that. But the problem is they don't know how to control their powers. That's why I got to be Professor X and control the whole situation and teach her how to use her powers to the best of her ability. It's just like X-Men. They had Cyclops, they had Storm, they had Wolverine. These niggas had magnificent powers, man. They could do all type of shit. But none of them knew how to control their powers. So they needed Professor X to teach them. To teach them how to use their powers. To the best of their ability. And then they was able to conquer their arenas. I want my woman to conquer the feminine energy. Tap into mother nature. That's what you connected to. That power is strong. You don't have to tap into your masculine energy to be strong. Be strong in your feminine energy. Tap into mother nature. That's a universal law that I might not be connected to. You are connected to that 
universal law. Each and every woman is connected to the energy of mother nature. That's where your strength lies. So you got to tap into that. Stop trying to be masculine. Stop trying to act like a man. Stop trying to conduct yourself like a man. That's why successful black men always date outside of their race when they get their money because they don't want to deal with a woman that's trying to act like him. Make a decision. You're going to wear the pants or the panties. And if you decide to put on the pants, go fuck with a Dutch. Or what they call them? A butch? A Dutch? Whatever they call them. Fuck with something else. Don't fuck with a man. Go get you a... You know what I mean? Another bitch or something. And you could be, you know what I mean? The one that's dominating that relationship. And even that don't even last. Even gay relationships. Women that date each other. Lesbians. They don't know how to play their position. That always end in drama. You feel me? That never goes right. Because they can't control their superpowers. They can't control their emotion. They end up fucking causing a, you know, an explosion. Because women energy are so strong If they don't know how to control it man It's going to cause chaos and conflict You feel me At the end of the day man That's what I'm trying to convey man Play your position You'll never lose your place man Let the man Be the man Women Be the woman Do what you do Be who you are Live in that Live in your truth Play your position Don't try to be Anything like the nigga you with You ask any man on this planet man We don't want a woman That conduct herself like us I know me, man. I don't want a woman that's acting like me, behaving like me, that's moving like me. Nah, I want her to be better than me. Be that pure, positive energy that I need that is going to lift me up when I'm feeling down. You know what I mean? Don't conduct yourself like me. Don't do what I do and say, if you can do it, I can do it too. That's the fastest way to cause us to not be in a relationship. I'm not going to fuck with you. If you're trying to move and conduct yourself like me, man. You know what I mean? Because I'm moving in a certain type of way that you may not understand, man. It's above your pay grade. Certain things that I'm going to do, you, you're you not going to understand. You're not going to know why. Let's not... Let's stop trying to... <laughs> you know what I mean? Control each other, man. Woman trying to tame a man. A man trying to control a woman, man. At the end of the day, man, we got to experience each other. In a perfect world, that's how it should be. But we don't live in a perfect world. So yes, somebody has to take control. Somebody got to be the captain of the ship. They have a captain of the ship for a reason. Because if they have two captains, we're going to end up sailing to nowhere. And that's a lot of y'all problems in y'all relationship today, man. Y'all going nowhere fast, man. There's two captains that's sailing on that ship. And y'all are lost at sea. At the end of the day, man, a decision got to be made. Somebody got to be the captain of the ship. It is what it is, man. That's why we have a pilot and a co-pilot, man. They don't have two pilots. In every arena in life, man, there's a power structure. There's a power structure that we got to fall under. And in a relationship, man, you got to fall under that power structure. Take my advice. Find out what you do best. Find out what role you want to play in that relationship. And play that role. That's it. It's really simple. We make it more complicated than it need to be. You know what I'm saying? We make it way more complicated than it need to be, man. Find the role that you want to play and play that. Let the woman dominate in the kitchen. Niggas, take your bitch ass out the kitchen and let her cook. You feel me? Don't let your woman take out the trash. You do that. Don't hire somebody to put up the TV. Nah, you do that. Don't hire somebody else to paint. No, nigga, you do that. Shine in your masculine energy. Be the man all the way through. Right? So whatever your woman asks you to do around the house, man, do that. Figure it out. You may not know electrical work, but read. Go on YouTube. Figure it the fuck out. I don't know how to do electrical work, but I figure it the fuck out, man. Why hire a nigga to do it when I'm smart enough to take care of it? You feel me? So you got to shine in your masculine energy, man. At the end of the motherfucking day, man. Everybody got a position to play. We got to play that position to the best of our ability, man. Another thing, man. That's why a lot of men don't like to give women a game. Because women are stronger than men. And they'll end up using that game against us. You dig? And we create a monster. You feel me? 
Because that power trip, it's that power trip, right? So a lot of times, women will find out certain information or get certain game from niggas, and they'll try to use that game on their niggas. But a woman got to understand, man, you could be smarter than a man, but you ain't sharper than your man. I'm going to say that one more time, man. You could be smarter than your man, book smart, educational wise, but you ain't sharper than your man. See, we got something that you don't have. See, I graduated from the school of hard knocks with a PhD in streetology. See, you might be smarter than me, but you ain't sharper than me. So anytime a woman try to take my game and use it against me, I'm 10 step ahead of her. You can never use my game against me because I see everything. I'm the one who taught you the game. Why would I play you when I made you? You feel me? So, I say that to say this. A lot of niggas don't give y'all women a game because y'all try to use the game against us. Y'all become a monster. Because y'all don't understand how to control y'all powers. So a man got to keep you at a certain level. So we can always reign supreme and be in control of that relationship. See, we always struggling for that control. That's the main thing a man wants when he's in a relationship. He wants to be in control of that relationship, as he should. I know I want to be in control all the time. I'm a control freak. I got to be in control. If I'm not in control, man, then the relationship is out of control. I'm not going to follow you to the end of the cliff. Anytime I made a decision based on what a woman told me to do, I always made the wrong decision. I'm going to say that one more time. And a lot of people might get offended by that, but it is what it is. Anytime I made a decision that was based on what a woman wanted me to do, I made the wrong decision. That's why it's important for the man to lead. Now, I value her opinion, but at the end of the day, I have to ultimately make the right decision. Because I am the one that's leading. She's following suit. You feel me? So for you niggas that have your woman leading and you wonder why you ain't going nowhere, that's because it's your position to lead, not the woman. That's why we damn sure can't have a woman president because she would lead the country over the cliff. Not because she want to, it's because she don't know how to control her superpowers. And she'll make decisions based on emotion and not logic. It's not in her nature to make decisions based on logic. Now, don't get it twisted. There are some women that makes decisions based on logic. There's a lot of them that there's a lot of them that do. But I'm talking about the majority. Majority of women don't lead with logic. They lead with emotion. Now you may get offended by that, but it is what it is. I don't give a fuck. I'm just telling y'all my opinion, and that's the truth to me. And the truth doesn't need to be justified by your ignorance. That's a quote from the late Dick Gregory. You feel me? What a man needs the most from his relationship is recognition and praise. See, a lot of y'all women are not praising your men enough. You got to praise your man, man, for everything that he does. That's what we love. We love recognition and praise. Yeah, flatter me. You feel me? That's what you need to do. Flatter me with your feminine energy. Love me the way you love your dog. A lot of women love their dogs and they show their dogs all of the affection in the world. But when it comes to their men, <laughs> they really stand off and shit. They really don't show them that affection that they show their dogs. Check how a woman interacts with her dog. They feed their dogs on time. They take their dogs for a walk. They show that dog that love, that care. Why? Because that dog give them something that most men can't give them, that emotional security, right? A lot of men are emotionally disconnected. And that's because, shit, we was raised by wolves. You know what I mean? We, we was brought up in a concrete jungle. We, <laughs> we gotta be tough, we gotta be hard in order to survive in this motherfucking world that we live in, you dig? But what I'm saying is this, ladies, y'all gotta show us that love and affection that y'all show y'all dogs every day, man. Y'all show y'all dogs that unconditional love. No matter what that dog do, you still love that dog unconditionally, right? Now, y'all call us dogs, but y'all don't show us that love that y'all show y'all dogs that y'all got. You feel me? Show us that love, man. 
that same unconditional love that you show your dog every day. You dig? And another thing, man, a lot of y'all women gotta stop acting like kids, man. No woman on this planet like to hear the word no. You feel me? The moment you tell a woman no, she started to get in the feelings, she started to feel some type of way, man. You know what I mean? That childish behavior. You feel me? A man is gonna tell you no every now and then, man. Only those yes men is gonna tell you yes. Those beta men that you don't like. Those sheeps that I was talking about, man. An alpha man is not gonna tell you yes every time. You dig? He's not gonna let you have your way all the time. He's gonna tell you no. You gotta stop acting like a kid getting in your feelings because your man told you no, you can't have this or you can't have that. I don't do things when you want me to do it. I do when I think the time is right. I'm the one who's leading the relationship, and I'm the one who's taking this relationship where it need to be, you dig? I don't want to battle shit with you. I don't want to fight. I don't want to go back and forth with you. Just follow my lead. If I say no, not right now, it's no, not right now. You got to respect that. And I know a lot of you women out there going to get in your feelings because you don't like when a man tell you no. That's childish. Stop backing childish. It is what it is, you dig? Don't ask for a man to take control and you don't want to follow his lead. If he tell you no today, that's what it is, you dig? I ain't got time to battle with you, baby. You feel me? If you want to talk back and you want to argue with somebody, go call your girlfriends up and go argue with them about bullshit. See, a woman like a man to tell them what to do, even if they act like they don't. That's why when they at the nail salon and they call you up and they ask you stupid questions like, what color should I paint my nails? Now, they know the man don't give a fuck about what color you paint your nail, but they ask you stupid questions like that because they like your opinion and they want you to tell them what to do. I guarantee each and every one of you niggas experienced that. You feel me? Like I said again, a woman is going to tell you how to take the lead, but you just got to pay attention. You feel me? Now, some of you niggas, like I said, are lacking in game. A lot of you don't have game. Get you a mentor, man. I charge for my consultation calls. You feel me? And I want to say this. Any woman that book a consultation call, understand. Keep it professional. It's 150 for 30 minutes. And that's a deal, because I could be charging you $350 for 30 minutes. So I'm giving y'all a deal by charging y'all $150 for 30 minutes. And when I speak to y'all for 30 minutes, the conversation is over. Stop trying to make it go over time. You dig? And understand this. Keep it professional. Just because you book a consultation once or twice, that doesn't mean I'm interested in you. I'm only talking to you because... You booked a consultation and I'm giving you some news you can use. I'm giving you some help. I'm giving you some tips. I'm helping you with whatever question that you may need answered. Let's keep it professional because a few times, you know, some of you females hit me up on a consultation and y'all started acting weird, acting like it's more than what it is. Let's keep it professional. I'm not interested in you just because we talk for 30 minutes on the phone. You dig? Now, some of y'all might be cool, but I'm, I'm trying to run a business here, man. You dig? I'm trying to run a business, man. So when you book a consultation with me, man, understand, let's keep it professional. It's 30 minutes, man. Because I had a situation where a female was getting her feelings and feeling some type of way just because she booked a few consultation calls with me and she felt like we had some damn relationship going on. She was delusional. Not understanding that this is a business. I'm not trying to be with you, and I hope you ain't trying to be with me. I'm cool on this side, you dig? And the crazy part about it is this. A lot of times they book consultations with me, and they talking about their men. We having conversations about their men. So why are you even coming at me like you interested in me in any way? Bitch, you just told me you got a nigga. I'm trying to help you work your situation out. I'm trying to help you figure that out. How did the game twist where you trying to, you know what I mean, make it seem like... We got something going on, but that's on another note. And for the niggas that in my DMs asking me questions, listen, man, hit the super chat, donate some money before you ask me a question. I'm not going to answer no questions just because you feel like I should answer your question because you sent me a message in the DM. No, I'm not answering your question, homie. You feel me? You want me to answer your question? You hit the super chat. And you leave your question in the super chat. You dig? You let me know that you donated, you supported the platform, then you ask me a question. Then I might answer your question, depending on the amount you leave. Now don't send me $5, $10 and think I'm going to answer your question. Nigga, that's fucking chump change to me. I ain't got time to play with you niggas, you dig? You feel me? So if you have a question and you want me to answer your question, donate to the platform. 
hit me in the DMs. Let me know that you donated. You supported the platform. Then I might answer your question. Other than that, I might see your shit and scroll right past it. You feel me? That's just how I move, man. We not hurting for no money over here. So I'm not going to take your petty $5, $10 and go answer a question that you may have. Nigga, spend some money, nigga. Real niggas talk with a bankroll. You dig? This is a long episode. And the reason why it's a long, because I got a lot to say. It's a lot I need to convey, man. Y'all see how I'm looking, ladies. Y'all liking the Merlot? Y'all liking the Merlot suit, man? So like I was saying again, man. Every relationship I ever had, man, a woman always helped and assist me in achieving my goals, man. It is what it is, man. If you can't add to what I got going on, man, then you don't need to be in my life, man. If you want to know my business, invest in it. You feel me? It's just that simple. I'm going to say that one more time for the people that ain't listening in the back. If you want to know my business, invest in it. A lot of people be asking me questions and trying to find out, you know what I mean, my business. Well, baby, you got to invest in it if you're trying to find out what's going on over here, you dig? But any woman that I deal with on a personal level, man, yeah, you better believe. They're going to add to what I got going on, man. And if it ain't like that, I don't got time for you. See, I don't got time to play around with females, man. At this point in my life, man, I don't got no time to play around with anybody that has helped. I don't got no time to play with anybody that's not helping me on my journey. You feel me? That's what I'm focused on. So like I said again, man, and it's another thing, right? I don't got time to play with nobody or deal with nobody that's not going to help me on my journey. You dig? I need somebody that's going to help push me forward, man. And another thing I want to say, man, ladies, y'all got to stop fucking with niggas that's possessed by the spirit of lust. You wondering why the niggas cheating on you every day and night because he's possessed by the spirit of lust, man. There's some niggas out there, they just got to feed the beast, man. They possessed with the spirit of lust. I stay away from anybody that's possessed with the spirit of lust, man. And what I mean by that is this, man. The woman that's need to be satisfied sexually every day and night. The woman that's coming around talking about she got to get fucked on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And she want to get fucked four times a day, man. I stay away from those bitches because they possessed with the spirit of lust. The moment you don't have sex with her, when she feels like you should have sex with her, then that's a problem. You're not feeding that beast. She's going to go out there and find some nigga she going to fuck on for that night, you dig? Like I said again, women cheat just as much as men. Stay away from people that are possessed by the spirit of lust, man. You feel me? I stay clear away from women that are feeding off of attention you feel me all they want to do is suck and drain your energy i'm not gonna be the nigga that's gonna fuck you four times a day six seven times a week nah i got shit i gotta do if you drain me of all of my energy what i'm a, what am i gonna have left in order for me to move forward and try to do things productive throughout the day so yeah, stay away from people that are possessed with that spirit of lust. Those type of niggas are going to cheat on you 24-7, man. You feel me? Because they got to feed that beast, man. They out there every day looking for the new bitch to fuck because our motto is no pussy is better than new pussy. <laughs> I'm going to say that one more time, man. The motto is, no pussy is better than new pussy. So they constantly out there trying to feed that beast, man. And a nigga that's possessed by the spirit of lust, man, he'll go out there morning, noon, or night trying to find something that he like. And they'll spend every dollar they make to get the woman that they want. Just because they trying to feed that beast, man. You feel me? They start tricking and doing all kind of shit. Just because they possessed by the spirit of lust. Great men have gained a fortune and lost it all because they possessed with the spirit of lust. They spend the mortgage they spend the rent, they spend their savings on a female they barely know because they possess with the spirit of lust. You feel me? Now, shit, I don't knock the women for taking these niggas for everything they got. That's what they supposed to do. If you find a sucker, you suck him for everything he has. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Kudos to y'all. I salute the women that out there taking niggas for everything they got. Because if you a sucker and you are possessed by the spirit of lust, shit, she should use you for whatever she can get you for. You deserve to get played. You feel me? Yeah. There's a lot of you niggas out there, man. 
Ain't nothing wrong with you niggas. Y'all make the world go round. I appreciate y'all because it lets me know how valuable I am. Because I am nothing like y'all. You dig? It is what it is. We are not the same. So I stay clear away from women that are possessed with the spirit of lust. That's why I stay clear from Latin women. Because Latin women are possessed with the spirit of lust. That's why prostitution is so high in Colombia. It's so high in DR. Because all them women out there are fucking morning, noon, and night. Prostitution is at a high level out there, you dig? They on their grind trying to suck and fuck anything they can find. And the niggas go out there and they have babies. And they have different lives out there. And they enjoying their life. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Hey, they doing what they want to do. They adults. They can do what they gotta do to get what they want out of life ain't nothing wrong with that but what i'm saying is this if you're dealing with a latin woman that's possessed with the spirit of lust she gonna cheat on you every fucking time she get because she needs your energy because she's sucking you dry because that fuels her they get fueled by your energy that's why if you do semen retention she feels some type of way when you don't bust your nut because she needs that she get energized off of you busting your nut. Pause. You feel me? So stand clear from those people because they out there in a vast amount. And some of you niggas don't mind dealing with these women. Because y'all are possessed with the spirit of lust too. And y'all wondering why you're so drained. You can't really manifest the things you want in your life fast enough. Because your vibration is being lowered every time you ejaculate with that woman. She's sucking you dry and you don't even know it. You feel me? You can't manifest nothing. You've been working on the same thing for months and months and years to come and you still haven't achieved nothing. Because you can't keep your dick out the bitch long enough for you to focus on what you got to do. You know what I mean? Niggas that's possessed with the spirit of lust, man, would he'll give everything plus the kitchen sink. To the woman that he lusts after. Know what I mean? So, I covered a lot of things in this episode. This episode is brought to you by Create a Steady Hustle. Know what I mean? Yours truly look with cash. If you got a question, all you got to do is hit the super chat, leave your question, and hopefully I'll answer it on the next episode. We are not answering questions for free. I'm giving y'all this free content. This episode is definitely a long one, but it's one that you need. You know what I mean? It's one that's going to help you. And to the woman out there, man, tap into your feminine energy. That's your superpower. You don't got to be masculine. You don't got to try to tap into your masculine energy. Your feminine energy is strong enough. Connect to Mother Nature. That's the storehouse of infinite intelligence. Once you tap into your feminine energy, man, you always gonna dominate in your arena. And to the man, tap into your masculine energy. Play your position. Stop acting like a bitch. Stop being emotional. Know what I mean? Stop communicating with your hands. Learn how to communicate with your mind. You dig? Floyd Mayweather get paid for boxing. I don't get paid for boxing. That's why I never put my hands on a woman. I don't get paid for that. Ain't no money in that. It's nothing productive with that. You don't get nothing out of that but jail time. Because the same woman that you think love you will be the same woman that go up there on the stand and snitch on you and have you spending a decade in jail all because you couldn't control your emotions. All right? So learn how to control your emotion. Communicate with your mind. Not with your hands. Play your position in the game of life. On the chessboard, we got pawns, we got queens, and we got kings, we got rooks, and we got knights. Everybody has a position to play. Play your position. The queen is the most valuable piece on the chessboard. She can do every and anything on the chessboard, but the king is the foundation. Once the king is dead, the game is over. Ladies, y'all gotta understand that. The king is the cornerstone of the relationship. When the relationship succeed, it's the man's fault. When the relationship doesn't succeed, it's the man's fault. If the kids are misbehaving and not doing their homework on time, it's the man's fault. Anything that goes on in that household is the man's fault. 
because the man sets the rules and the regulation and he sets the tone. So let the man take control and lead peacefully. But men, y'all got to take responsibility for it. It's your fault. If she cheats, it's your fault. No matter what goes on, it's your fault because you enable that woman to do these things. You're lacking in some department. There's something lacking in the relationship. That's why she's stepping out and doing what she's doing. You dig? You're allowing her to move in a certain way. You're not creating structure in your relationship. That's why the woman is disobeying you and doing whatever she please. She don't believe in you. And if you find a woman that don't believe in you, you can find another one that does. It's time to take accountability for everything that goes on in your household, man. Don't put it on the woman. That's easy. That's, that's a cop out when you put it on a woman, man. If I'm dating a female and she decides to go out there and cheat on me, that's my fault. If some part of the relationship I was neglecting her and some things that I was doing that she didn't like and I, I didn't listen to her when she was complaining about it. And I didn't fix whatever the problem was. So she decided to step out and do whatever she did. We are co-creators in that event. I take full responsibility for the role that I play in the reason why our relationship didn't work out. I don't get mad and puff and pout about it. I move on to the next. I'm a fly nigga. I can find anything I want to find. Because the power is within me. I'm the plug. You did? I charge her up. I give her the energy that she desires. You feel me? That's just the way I think. That's just me. Some of you niggas don't think that way because y'all lack confidence. Y'all lack certain charisma. Y'all lack certain bravado about yourself. You dig? Y'all just don't have it. I got it. You feel me? So any woman that I get, I'm the plug. I charge her up. She's never going to meet me at my level because no two people evolve at the same time. Every time I meet a woman, I got to raise her vibration to my level. You feel me? Because I'm always climbing and evolving. You feel me? So any woman that I meet, I make sure, charge them up and help them raise to my level of vibration. As soon as you decide to say you want to be in a relationship, you got to understand, man, you got to be extremely patient with your partner. Because no two people evolve at the same time, man. You're not going to meet somebody that's going to meet you where you at in life. Because you might be up here, they might be down there. It's okay. You can raise them up to where you need them to be. And if you're looking for the man that reach you up here where you at, good luck. Because that's the type of man you might not like. The nigga that you like is, like I said, an alpha man. He's a lion. He's the king of the jungle. A lot of y'all women like niggas that's the king of the jungle and y'all try to tame him. And y'all get mad why, <laughs> why he's having this one and that one and having fun and enjoying life and doing whatever he wants to do. Y'all get in y'all feelings about it. But you got to get out of your feelings, man. Understand that's the man you chose. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Like I said, go get you a sheep if you feel some type of way, man. It is what it is. We should just experience each other and stop trying to control each other, but we not in a perfect world, so it is what it is. You know what I mean? Should you settle? Nah, you shouldn't settle. Because the nigga you want is out there. You just gotta understand, you gonna have to go through a lot of these motherfuckers in order to find it. What are you willing to give up? How much time are you willing to sacrifice to find that man? It's gonna take time, it's gonna take effort, it's gonna take sacrifice. You gotta write it out. You gotta really map it out. A lot of y'all getting certain type of niggas because y'all are just winging it. There's no planning behind what y'all doing. So you end up getting Tom, Dick, and Harry and all kind of different type of niggas and you going through all type of shit. They putting you through the ringer because you're really not mapping out. You really don't know the type of man you want. You really don't know what you want. So God gives you anything. The universe just send you whatever. Any type of man that give you attention and make you feel like you that bitch, you settle for that man. And then you realize six months later, that nigga ain't shit. Then you run into another one that's operating the same way. And then you realize he ain't shit either. You ain't taking the time out to work on yourself and map out and figure out what you really and truly want. You gotta know what you want, man. You can't put in an order and don't know what you want. 
When you go to a restaurant, you put in an order, man, you're going to get exactly what you order. It's the same thing when you're choosing a man. Put in a motherfucking order. God is going to give you exactly what you want. You might have to tweak some things. You might have to add a little bit of salt. You might have to add a little hot sauce. You might have to add a little ketchup. It's okay. Because everybody like their shit seasoned a certain type of way. You like your man to be a certain kind of way. You might have to add a little flavor to him. But that's okay. But when God sends you that gift and sends you what you want, you got to know how to recognize it when you see it. Always be in awareness. Be on the lookout. You dig? You don't get what you want, you get who you are. So make sure you be that person that you looking for in that man. I'm giving y'all a lot of game, man. Take your time out. Write this down. Watch this episode over and understand this. If a woman didn't exist, all the money in the world would have no meaning. Because 99% of what a man does, he do it to impress a woman. From the car that he drives to the house that he buys, he does it all to impress or get the attention of a woman. Great men have worked 90% of their lives to gain a fortune and have lost it all in a blink of an eye, all because of a woman. Now some might say he's a fool, but what's the purpose of gaining the world if you can't find one person that's worth giving it to? Find that person that's worth going through the storm with. Because we all are going to go through adversity. We all are dealing with some type of shit. It ain't gonna stop till a casket drop. It is what it is. It's called life. Enjoy it, embrace it, love it, and be up for the challenge. I'm always up for the challenge. Like, subscribe, sign up to the Patreon. It is what it is. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Liquid Cash got a podcast. Cheers. Yeah. Yeah. It's the Pirates of the Caribbean. Niggas can't fuck with me, man. That boy. It's liquid cash. I need it all out in the stash. I'ma get rich or I'ma get deported. Riding cross country, my four tourists.